breaking news. Another member of a prominent South Carolina family tied to a murder mystery has been shot. Good evening. I'm Amir Jenkins. State law enforcement division agents confirm Alex Murdoch was found shot. He's the father of Paul Murdoch and husband of Margaret Murdoch. They were both found dead earlier this year. News 2's Riley Benson has been covering this story since the day the mother and son were found dead. And he's live for us in studio right now. Riley, catch us up on the case and give us the latest details. Yeah, Maris, officials tell us Alex Murdoch was found shot in the head at a Hampton County property near the 15,000 block of Salkahatchee Road. Now, Murdoch was found just less than 10 minutes away from where his wife and son were found brutally murdered back in June. Detail on the shooting are still limited at this time, but officials say Murdoch was found near his car on the side of Salkahatchee Road. Alec Murdoch was reportedly airlifted to a hospital for treatment. Now let's take a look at some of the other cases related to this family. The, family, the Murdoch family spokesperson released a statement just hours ago saying, quote, The Murdoch family has suffered through more than any one family could ever imagine. We expect Alec to recover and ask for your privacy while he recovers, end quote. Now, like I said, this is just the first mysterious incident involving the prominent legal family in South Carolina. Stephen Smith is the earliest death linked to the family. He was found dead on July 8th in 2015 with a large hole in his forehead near the family's Islandton property. Now, Smith was known to be friends with the Murdoch's oldest son, Buster. Smith's death was ruled a hit and run at the time, and no suspects have been named. Flash forward to February of 2019. Paul Murdoch was driving his father's boat while allegedly intoxicated before crashing into a bridge piling near Paris Island. The crash threw Paul and two other passengers into Archer's Creek, including Mallory Beach, killing her. Charges against Murdoch were dropped, but a lawsuit against the family is still pending. Then this year, on the night of June 7th, Alec Murdoch found his son and wife, Paul and Mar Margaret Murdoch, brutally shot on the family's Colleton County property. Alec called local law enforcement before SLED took over the case. We know the bodies were found near a dog kennel more than a half mile away from the family house. This past week, 14th Circuit solicitor Duffy Stone, who worked under Alec's father Randolph, spoke for the first time since recusing himself from the double homicide investigation. I knew that there was a, an ethical issue and I needed advice on it. I got that advice and I followed the advice and um, that's what prosecutors are supposed to do. Uh, you don't just get out of a case because it's uncomfortable or because people are saying you should. Now, Maris, this is just the latest twist in a really mysterious case involving this family. And Riley, as you said, you've been tracking this story for several months now. You've been to Hampton County a number of different times. Why do you think residents are so reluctant to sp uh, speak to you? Well, Maris, it's, it's strange. We've made several trips to Hampton County, Colleton County. Speaking with people, it's, it's almost like they're afraid to speak on the Murdoch family. Now, mm -hmm. five trips, I only had one person who would speak to me on camera about them. There's just a, an eeriness. It's almost, you know, they're afraid to speak on this family. They're not sure, you know, what could happen if they were to speak on the Murdochs. All right. Well, thank you, Riley, for those updates. Thank you so much.